it's been a uh, quite a long journey over the past 18 months to get to a point where the book is close now to being completed. The very first interview I took was with Jack Dunnett um, back in the Betjamin Arms 18 months ago at St Pancras. He uh, was 92 years old at the time and uh, I had to submit um, a list of prepared questions for him uh, before being allowed to ring him and when I uh, finally spoke to him uh, he was insistent that he was going to come and meet me uh, on the other side of London from where he lived. Um, I was adamant that I, I wanted to go out and meet him in South London but, but he insisted that he came to the railway station at King's Cross to wait for me at the platform before we went off to the Betjamin Arms. So um, Jack clearly as, as sharp and as tight as ever. I came down here as a 13 year old. Uh... Signed as a schoolboy, then an apprentice, and had five great years. Yeah, two promotions. I think being so young, you probably didn't appreciate what we actually done. And uh, just being here that day and meeting the lads who have been part of the history of this club. It's fantastic because nobody expected to do it. Um, you know, in, we managed to get in there and we survived for three or four years on a shoestring. Um, kept the same squad virtually. I think John Chidozzi was was one of the few signings that we made, and uh, you know we put up a hell of a fight to stay in it. Uh, fantastic time to be at the club. It's the first book of, about Notts County whereby they're talking to the players, getting the inside story. Um, there's some great tales from all generations really, from the 1970s up to the modern day. And Paul, Paul Mace, who's writing the book, he's sort of gone out and talked to a lot of people who were heavily involved with the club basically. Uh, you know, the, the, the sort of Derek Pavis, the chairman, Neil Warnock, Les Brad from the 70s, Mick Jones. So it's a book really about the, cent the essential Notts County, basically. I mean, to, to play against Juventus, against Del Piero, Perlo, Buffand, uh, Luca Toni, I mean, it was an amazing experience, let alone to, like, uh, to play there and then to score the equaliser. It was just a, it's a, great, it's a great experience and it'll li live in the uh, life of me. Favourite stories? Well, that, that's another difficult one. There have been so, so, so many. Um, I think some of the escapades on tour um, are quite legendary, the ones that we can tell in the book. Um, I think possibly one of the favourite stories um, would be, and I won't give it all away, uh, but if I was to tell you that uh, one of the, if not the greatest global football manager of the past 30 years, Sir Alex Ferguson, features in the book and has a jug of orange juice tipped over his head uh, involving a Notts County player. Uh, you might be a little surprised, but it, but it is true. Read the book for that one to find out who it is. Um, other stories, what one of Notts County's greatest players, uh, again, read the book to find out, he used to bring a shotgun into training um, and take pot shots from the top of the stand um, at the groundsman. Uh, another one that seems very, very unlikely, but um, I can assure you it's true. It's a huge uh, imprint in, in, in my life. You know, some of the guys that's here today, very, very fond, happy memories. Played lots of times with them. As I said, we've had successive promotions. So just a wonderful period of my life. And um, I'm now an ambassador for the club.